And then he said uh, that the high mountains of gold tried to tempt him. Uh, he was offered the mountains to be made gold for him. This was offered to the Messenger of Allah, and he refused. And then he says uh, what magnanimity he showed on that day. In other words, what, what greatness of spirit he showed because how many people in this world, if they were offered a mountain of gold, people sell their souls for gold in this world. And he said that his zuhud, his doing without, and uh, his lack of, of uh, dunya, uh, it, it increased his piety in spite of his need. And then he says, because need never prevails, uh, one uh, who has this isma from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then he says, and how uh, could he call to the world, uh, how can necessities of such a noble personality incline him towards the world? The one, had it not been for him, this world would not have come out of non-existence. This, this line uh, is a line that's been uh, debated, uh, but I'll mention just one thing, people... Uh, the Messenger of Allah, and I'll use Ibn Taymiyyah because Ibn Taymiyyah is somebody who uh, people often quote to attack verses like this. Ibn Taymiyyah was asked about this statement and he actually said, and it's in the fatawa, he said, this statement is true because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ I have only created humans and jinn to worship. And he said, therefore, the reason, the purpose for human existence is to worship Allah. And no one has perfected worship more than the Messenger of Allah. And so really, the, the, the one who was created to know Allah is the human being. And the one who knew Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala better than any other human being. And the Prophet said, Ana akhshakum lillah. And khashya is awe with knowledge. So the, and that's why Allah says, Inna may akhshallah min ibadi al-ulama. Khashya is different from khawf. Fear is something even a, uh, an ignorant person can feel fear. But only a learned person, one who has knowledge, can have khashya. And the Prophet had more khashya, awe with knowledge, than anyone else. And so really the purpose of the world was realized at its uh, acme in the Messenger of Allah, which is perfect ubudiyah or servanthood, slavehood to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is why Allah says, Subhana ladhi asra bi abdihi laylan. Glory be to the one who took his servant, abdihi laylan.